We pump fuel every day, but do you know how a fuel tank is actually made? First, large steel sheets are cut along pre-drawn lines into equal pieces. These pieces are then fed into a press to bend them, and afterwards they are stamped into the basic shape of the tank's outer shell. Once the shape is formed, the workers trim the edges to make them neater before punching holes for bolts, the fuel-filling port, and the cap-locking mechanism. Inside the tank, they install the filler neck and secure an additional bracket to create a load-bearing point. For the inner layer of the tank, another steel sheet is also molded, trimmed, and reinforced with a welded plate to increase strength. After that, they drill holes at the bottom and along the body, then weld a small mounting tab inside as a fixing point. When everything is ready, the two halves are aligned, tack welded along the edges, and the rim is trimmed again before the tank goes into the machine for a full seam weld. Finally, they weld a threaded outlet pipe to the bottom and mounting brackets to the body, then submerge the entire tank in water to check for leaks. A fuel tank may look simple, but it actually goes through dozens of meticulous steps to be completed.